Dr. Olivares, do you know much about epigenetics? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very, very interesting field. And, you know, since we started IVF, it has been wandering around, you know, how, how important it is. And, and it is also have, has shown to be very relevant. For example, now that we are doing a lot of egg donation, you know, and how the body of the mother, of the recipient can impact and interact with the genetics of the baby, modifying in a good sense or in a bad sense, uh, the genetics of the baby, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, that's that's where all these ladies are, are coming from. They've all been on epigenetic protocols to mm. turn on the genes that are beneficial. Mm. And it does actually improve their AMH levels and their egg quality. So we're looking at everything that impacts mm. the cell. So these women really do have a, a good chance. They've got a good foundation. But I thought it would be interesting to, to hear any of your views of, of epigenetics as well. But like you say, you really see it when there's donor eggs in play. So if these women that accept donor eggs have been living a healthy life where they're balancing their stress, sleeping better, detoxifying well, regenerating their cells, positive mindset, all that kind of stuff. It really mm. does have a positive impact. Absolutely, absolutely. As proven by science nowadays. Yeah, that, I think that, but that, or my feeling is that this is even beyond the science, you know, which is common sense. You know, yeah. The healthier you are, uh, is, is, is obviously that it's going to have a positive impact, you know. Mm, uh, at different levels and as I've said this is a process that does not end when you have a positive in fact very likely it is when it's going to start the most important part of the process because you are you're going to have your baby exposed for nine months to your environment you know so it's it's absolutely relevant the diet the toxics the lifestyle or whatever you can do to create an environment that is going to be uh, or is, uh, trying to have the best environment. We, we are uh, completely sure that whenever we transfer an embryo, the baby, the baby that is born is different than um, that, that if that embryo had been transferred to another woman. Yeah. Okay. And not just because of the f physical, but also because in, in the genetics, you know, so everything has is playing a role. It could be more, much more or less relevant, but uh, a, dif um, a different role. 